Now, I'm going to test your memory and <clears throat> say these three words after me and then memorize them. Will you do that? Okay. Uh, ball, flag, and tree. Say them again. Ball, flag, and tree. So we've just tested uh, immediate recall, which is a test of attentional ability. So he was able to, he was able to repeat them immediately. Uh, and I want you to memorize those, so keep those in mind, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Now I'd like you to start with 100 and subtract by sevens, go back by sevens, as, uh, until I tell you to stop. Take your time. Okay. 93, 86, 79, 72, 65. Good. So we let people go back for five iterations. I get a check for each of the correct answers. Another, it's, a, it's another attentional test. Can the person uh, keep the task in mind while going back by sevens? Uh, some defects in that one. Many, many people who I test can't do that. And they're otherwise normal people. And they might get five points off uh, for that. So it's a problem with it, isn't it? Some people, it's, it's too hard. You sometimes have to adapt this. You have to say, well, I, I want you to go back by threes, depending on how much education the person might have had. I would like you to, to think very carefully, go slowly, and try to spell the word world backwards. Okay. D L R O W. Very good. Perfect. Another test of attention. This is by asking the person to do two things at once. Basically, keep the task in mind. Picture that thing in your mind, in your mind's eye, as we like to say. That's probably somewhere in the parietal occipital lobe, and then pull it out one by one. Uh, very good. What were those three words that I asked you to memorize? Ball, flag, and tree. So he was able to keep those in mind. So that's his ability to actually recall. We, we tested before his ability to put them into memory, and now we know that he can bring them out.